discuss Eden Terzic stepping down as manager of Borussia Dortmund. Real quick, I want to respond to some of these comments of from Ghost of Gorillatis or whatever. Is Olise going to NUFC? I assume you're talking about Newcastle United, I believe. Or maybe it's a typo and you're trying to say Manchester United, but I don't know. But um, uh, if Olise does move on, I think he's going to move on to either like a club like a Chelsea or a Manchester United. I don't think Newcastle, even though I don't want to disrespect Newcastle, it is still a step up from Crystal Palace. I don't think that's the move he's looking for. And the USMNT is trash. Well, I mean, okay, bro. I, I don't know what team you root for, so I can't really talk mess about your team if you don't want to state it. But... Okay, whatever, bro. But yeah, Edin Terzic, um, he stepped down as a manager of Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, um, interesting, uh, interesting development here. Uh, Edin Terzic, he's left Borussia Dortmund after leading this team to second place in the Bundesliga last season, narrowly missing out on the title on the final day, um, and also taking this team to the Champions League final this season, a run that we did not see impossible. You know, if we went to the, when entering into that group stages, we, I really thought it would be a massive struggle for Dortmund to even get out of that group. Not only did they get out of the group, but they managed to win it in spectacular fa fashion when you look at the fact that they did it in a group with Paris Saint-Germain, uh, Newcastle United, and... Um, uh, oh, I believe the fourth team. Who was the fourth team? And AC Milan. So um, impressive in that. Uh, but yes, Edin Terzic has left his role as the Borussia Dortmund manager. Um, he, uh, in a statement, he said, Dear Borussians, even though it hurts me brutally right now, I would like to let you know that I'll be leaving BFB as of today. It was a huge honor to lead the great club to a German Cup victory and most recently to a Champions League final. At our final at Wembley, I asked those in charge for a chat because after 10 years at BVB, five of them as part of the coaching team and two and a half as head coach, I feel that the upcoming new start should be accompanied by a new man on the touchline. Now, you know, we all know that they lost that Champions League final to, to Real Madrid 2-0 and um, yeah, Terzic, who, you know, he became the manager um, right before the 2022-23 season began. He became the permanent manager after, you know, being involved in the club as an assistant coach, then as an interim manager, and then hiring Marco Rosa, not, that not working out, and then him returning um, as back to being the uh, manager again. Um, and, yeah, it's, um, it's an... It's interesting developments, in my opinion. Now, we know the comments that came from Matt Hummels before the, you know, before the Champions, right before the Champions League final, which is, it was just interesting comments talking about how Matt Hummels did not like the Borussia Dortmund, how the Borussia Dortmund were playing at the beginning of the year, the style of play. He thought it was too defensive. He didn't think it was proper Borussia Dortmund football. Now, the timing of those comments I rather chose, I didn't ignore it, I still talked about it in the show, but I didn't make it as big of a deal as it should be because, you know, it's the fact that it came right before a Champions League final and I was more focused on that final itself and maybe I should have, you know, really broke down those comments even more because, you know, it was clear the disconnect within the organization and, you know, I'm not going to act a fool, that definitely has a lot, that might, I think that might have to do a lot with what's going on here. Because Terzic, you know, this is a guy that's, um, that's Borussia Dortmund through and through. And, you know, you cannot argue, in, um, I, you cannot argue that, um, you know, Terzic is a, is this, is this, is, this is boyhood club, all that. Like, you know, he has a connection with this club, an emotional connection. But there's something that, there's, there's, definitely something that you know is bothering him that he was able to leave now there was the tension with Matt Hummels um, and it's interesting with Matt Hummels because you know there was you know there was reports rumors saying Hummels talked about uh, said if Edin Terzic is staying then I'm not staying then Edin Terzic goes on to resigns but then Hummels is not being offered a 
contract and he's looking like he's going to be set to leave. Just a weird dynamic going on. I think the way Matt Hummels handled the comments that he made beforehand was very disgraceful and really bad because you don't make such comments on the eve of the Champions League final within that same week. You don't make that comment before that. That's something, if you say a period, you wait till at least after the season. You never say that before because that's just making it about yourself. I don't know if he's trying to make himself look better by saying, wow, you know, things changed whenever I went to the board and make made a difference. I don't know what he was trying to say in terms of that. Um, it made that, you know, those comments was really ridiculous for me. And I think, you know, British Dorman are doing good to, you know, let him go. Now, there was, there was uh, Nuri Sahin and um, Nuri Sahin and I believe there was another player that came in or another uh, assistant manager that came in halfway through the season to help out with Edin Terzic to be the assistant. And, you know, that kind of shifted maybe the style of play that Hummels was alluding to. And maybe that's something that also bothered Edin Terzic in the fact that, you know, they didn't believe in how he was, you know, his way and they wanted to bring in someone else to change it. And he doesn't want to be like a, a yes man. He wants to be the, the manager of a, of a club. So he was bothered by that maybe that has something to do with it as well frustrations and that but yeah it's definitely quite fishy there now um Nuri Sahin he came they came in now obviously the level of play the performances amongst the team the results from the team improved since you know him and the other assistant came in they started playing a little bit more better football a little bit more pleasing football there's no there's no uh there's no denying that so i think Borussia Dortmund and the board look at that and they look at that as a good you know profile of resume as Nuri Sahin now Nuri Sahin did also coach in the Turkish Turkish league so he does have experience in that aspect he's not completely raw uh, but, you know, maybe the six months at Dortmund, how impressive they were reaching the Champions League final since he came in, that really um, that really put him in a good position to land this job. So he's, you know, it's looking more and more likely that he's going to be the manager for Borussia Dortmund, um, or he's set to become the manager for Borussia Dortmund, which I think, you know, in the circumstances that they are, I think it's a good move in the fact that you don't want to reshuffle it completely. You want to bring in a guy that's, you know, Borussia Dortmund shown that they 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 like someone with um, with uh, a, a, a knowledge of the Borussia Dortmund situation. That's you know part of the community. That's part of the culture there. And Nuri Sahin is a former player. Was part of the team that reached the Champions League final under Jurgen Klopp. So there's there's that aspect to it. So in terms of that, it, it looks like a very very good move. The style of play and all that. So yeah, as far as that, I, I, I like that move for uh, for Borussia Dortmund. Now, Edin Terzic and his future. I feel like Edin Terzic is still in a good position here to land a, a, a good job. And the fact that what he did at Borussia Dortmund, in my opinion, was very, very impressive. Because this is a Borussia Dortmund team, in my opinion, that doesn't have... Their squad is not that good. Their squad is not the likes of the squad that Jurgen Klopp led to the Champions League final. What he was able to do in this... And he, this has been a selling club, you know, under um, the past six, seven, eight years, or even longer, but more so within the, this has almost been an academy the past six, five, six years or so. And what he's been able to do, despite the, you know, the coming in, coming out, he, you know, he led that team to second place last season. And in, in my opinion, I can't blame him for the collapse because at the end of the day, the collapse, the players have a lot to do with the, that sort of collapse. The way that they collapse in the last few match days, the players have to, you know, come up clutch in certain moments, have to, you know, take that next step. It's all about the clutchness with the players. And he, he you know, I, I don't think Edin Terzic can manage around that. I don't think he can give that clutch factor to the players, that bottle to the players. So I don't blame him for bottling that. And what he did taking this team to the Champions League final this season, very, very impressive. I think... A sign of a good manager is a manager that's able to make a team better than the sum of their parts. And I think he's done that at Borussia Dortmund. Despite their bad season this season of finishing fifth in general, I think he's had a good run. And I really look for him to potentially get a Premier League job. 
I think he's had a brilliant, brilliant run. And I think he's a, he's a he's a very good manager, very good. He speaks English, so that, that could help him in the Premier League aspect if that's what he wants to do. He's a good communicator. Um, you could tell tactically he's, pre- he's pretty astute. He's a good man manager. I really like Edin Terzic, so I, I definitely don't think this is the end of his manager career at all.